This is the Argon News Network, where resistance is futile. Welcome, our loyal citizens of the Argonian Empire. All hail Argon. Those who know the Loserbum YouTube channel will know that we've had a lot of success and great feedback and subscribers and views from the Argon community. I'm very grateful for that. However, if we look at the history, the most successful video by far, uh, like by a factor of eight, is nothing to do with the Argon. It's actually about MUDs, multi-user dungeons. So um, at Loserbum Industries, the um, smart heads have gotten together and we decided to combine these two forces of nature. This is going to like nitro and glycerin. It's like crossing the beams. Don't cross the beams. Taking the screwdriver out of the semisphere, hemisphere. This is what we're doing. So now in a world premiere, I will, I can show you. Hang on. Here we go. Um, Ta-da. This is what it looks like. Hang on. I will reboot it. There it is. So um, here's my argon. Notice build a, a slightly unusual MOS version. We'll get into that in a moment. The software is already loaded. And if I type run, I'm opening a serial port uh, on URT1. We'll show you the hardware in a moment. And, oops, this is incorrect. Is asking for a password. Uh, password is incorrect. It's a Raspberry Pi. Yep, we are shelling into a Raspberry Pi from our Argon Lite because the overlap, the Venn diagram of people who know and use and like Argon Lights and people who know and love and use Raspberry Pis is like a single circle, I would uh, uh, estimate. So, uh, Backspace key doesn't work and I just mistyped the password. So give it a moment. Ta-da! Ta-da! And we are in. We are in the Raspberry Pi on Linux. And now we can start this thing. Ta-da! This is Tintin++, plus plus, uh, Mud Client on Linux. Uh, oh, this is really old school stuff. So, and from there, we log into the actual Mud. This is the Stick Mud. This is the multi-user game. It's actually featured in my Mud video from three years ago. Ah! Uh. Yay, and we're in. Look, so, um, yeah, it's this is a bit like Zork. It's a text-based adventure. You can look around. Uh, I'm in a circular platform. I can read signs. So um, this is how I can explore my surroundings. So I'm in this game, and this is actually the sort of the, the training module. And I can walk around, right, with east and west and things like that. It's a mud. We are doing muds on the um, Raspberry, uh, on the Argon Lite. How do we do that? Via the Raspberry Pi. Allow me to show you. Yeah. Here's our little Argon. There he is. And there's three cables, only three cables, ground, RX, and TX going over directly to the Raspberry Pi, which has got nothing but power in the network. And I could do without the network. The Wi-Fi is flaky. And yep, that's that's what we have. And that's how we have connected to this. ta -da! How cool is that? And um, uh, uh, going back a little bit, of course, we can do a bunch of other stuff. I mean, this is a, this is a Linux sy uh, system. So um, that's what we're looking at. And uh, yeah, the code, if we look at the code a little bit, the uh, oh, hang on, I have to go over here. Yeah. So the code is literally fits on one screen. This is written in C, compiled in C. It's all in there. Um, and this can grow, you know, like a mud client. I can intercept the arrow keys and send macros and things like that. But now it's just uh, a straight serial shell which as you saw in uh, the thing the in the the uh, these all these weird square brackets and numbers it's trying to send escape characters for formatting i don't support that i just take a char character and send it to the screen but i think you'll agree this is pretty funky right and the the cool thing is or the outlandish thing is to get this to work i actually had to compile my own moss so um not only uh, after a conversation on twitter with dean belfield thanks very much he like encouraged me and I downloaded the MOS, put it in the ZDS project, and just compiled it as it was. In fact, I downloaded the uh, 1.03, the official one, and made sure that whatever I compiled was absolutely identical with the official binary release. And after having done that, I had enough confidence to make the changes needed to make this serial, um, this serial thing work. It's two lines in one file uh, in Assembler in the Axel VOS. It's like 
who would have expected it? Actual kernel hacking definitely wasn't panel part of the plan. It was to make the uh, the getting a reading a character from the serial non-blocking, right? That's that. But managed to trace it down, change a couple of things. It's on the edge of really coding or or just uh, find and replace. And very happy that worked. And that allows us to do this. So in other news. Um, coming our way um, is the em emulator guys have been completely, absolutely on fire. This dropped like less than four hours ago. Oh, I got Rocky working, right? And they've got Nova Star working. They've got Zokoban working. I haven't been able to replicate it uh, yet. I haven't had the time. That's for a future video. But big shout out to the emulator guys because they are just rocking it like before and they haven't stopped. So amazing work on there. Then um, Seinstra, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Um, um, he's got Zork, right? He's got Zork on Argon Light natively under Moss, and he wrote it in flipping assembler, right? And it's running here. I haven't seen the code. I haven't deployed it yet. Would love to go and look at that. And because it's not just a Zork, it's a Z machine emulator, you have everything like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, uh, Leather Goddess of Phobos, and a total of other ones. So we have Zork happening. We have emulation happening. We have. Alexander Sharikin Nihirash, the guy uh, who wrote Rocky, right? He's dropped actual code. You can download this for CPM. So CPNM is also available. That's worth another video because you also have to uh, flash a dedicated MOS. But multi, uh, multiple directions, uh, super fast development, faster than I can keep up. And that's how, um, that's, yeah, that's the Cambrian explosion of Argon software. And I'm very delighted that uh, Loserbum Industries was a part of that doing stuff like this. By the way, speaking of Zork, well, if I go over here, so hang on, I have to quit from the mud, then I have to end from the tin tin. See, look, I'm just in a Linux shell. Um, I can play Zork here too, can't I? Right, because I've got Zork on there. So uh, within the last, you know, less than four, five, the last week, let's say, since the last video, we have gained uh, three different ways to play Zork, completely independent. You can play it under CPNM because, as we know, that's the only reason that CPNM exists. It's definitely not because of WordStar. Right, and then you have it natively in assembler because yeah, sure, in assembler, and you can cheat by doing a serial connection over the Raspberry Pi like I have. I will be releasing the code to this, maybe not today, uh, which includes a MOS which you'll have to flash and things like that. And it's yeah, it's very early, early days. But it was fun, and I'm happy that under 1.03 MOS, I'm now back able to deliver uh, or to do uh, C. So with that, with that, doo -doo 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 -doo. oh yeah, a shout out here to Argon Light Australia on Tindy. Not a sponsor. I'm not getting any money from this. I'm pretty sure he isn't. But this is uh, Snake, uh, super active on the Discord community, really helpful. Um, definitely not in it for the money. And he's in Australia. He's shipping. He's got stock. He's responsive. Uh, apparently, people have been having trouble with... Um, um, have been having trouble with some of the bigger, um, you know, uh, retailers because there the Argon Light is just one out of ten thousand products. Um, the Snake here is said, uh, is I don't know how good he is. I haven't bought anything from his, but as I said, active member of the community. Snake on Discord. I think he also writes code, and his real name is I think Fred Smith because yeah. All right, with that, what can I say? Please subscribe to the channel if you like this content. Please uh, like the video. Please tell your friends about this stuff. We will be making more videos um, as things go. You're all a bunch of uh, bloody legends. I'm Loserbum, you are the internet, and I am out of here.